Hello there, I am the Travel Troll. This is Mazzy. Hey. And we're at, where are we? Oh, I forgot. Um. She's forgot. <laughs> we're at Oxbury. No, we're not. We're at Oxburg Hall. It's called Oxburg Hall, but it used to be called Oxenburg Hall. Do you know why? No, Dad. You're going to tell me no doubt. I can tell you if you'd like to know. I'd love to it's know. It's because they used to have oxen here. You know the cattle? All right, it's okay. a bit like a cow with horns, I think. Uh, they used to keep oxen here, so that's why it was called Oxenburg Castle. They oh. ditched the un. I don't know why, they just kept Oxburg. Well, that's a fact. It's most well known for a priest hall. It's got a really cool priest hall here, and people are queuing up to try and get in this priest hall. Um, I can guarantee when we get inside there, Mazzy's going to go inside. <laughs> I'm telling you this because I'm filming this bit after we've already been in. <laughs> I didn't have to tell them that, did I? It anyway, shoved me in because I was just I didn't you. shove you in. I really didn't. <laughs> kicked you in. Yeah. <laughs> it's all so well known for some sewing, wimmingy, like quilt cover things, which were made by Mary Queen of Scots. Now that is pretty cool. I'll be showing you them as well. They've done a bit of filming here in the past. Did you know that? No. Yep, they've done some filming here. Um, Dad's Army. Oh, really? They filmed Dad's Army here, and they've also filmed Urang Milord, oh. which I've never watched. No, no, really. It's a bit. It's what old women watch, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Um, and drink tea and eat cake, but uh, that's been filmed here as well. Somebody who used to own this place was called Thomas, and he got done for treason, and they hung him. They killed him. Killed him off, and he owned this place. It used to be owned by the Bedding Fields. Now, the bedding fields were big Catholics, that's why there's a priest hall in there. Oh, I see. Um, and the bedding fields were Catholics, and because they were Catholics and you weren't allowed to be Catholics, they kept getting fined and done and thrown in prison and all sorts. And because they kept getting fined so heavily, constantly, uh, they ended up losing all the money and it went into a bit of a ruin, did the place. And it was some later dude who did it up properly. Fact. A ball on a stick? No, it's like a puzzle ball, isn't it? No, I don't know. Never seen them. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, it's so intricate. I've seen worse views. Maz is taking a picture of some art for a father. I don't think he'll be interested, love. Honestly, no one's interested in art. So we've come in the wallpaper room. It really is as uninteresting as you might think, but this design here... Mother, are you watching this? Because we used to have that on our walls, exactly the same. And it's from like hundreds and hundreds of years ago. It's on display in a museum and we had it up in our house. Get with the times, mother. Right, these are very cool people because these are known as the Oxburg Hangings. Mary, Queen of Scots, you've all heard of her. And this other lady, I don't know her, Bess of Hardwick. They made these, like tapestry sewing type women stuff. But she made these, did uh, Mary, Queen of Scots, when she was a prisoner. Not here, she wasn't here, she made them elsewhere, but they've managed to get them in here. And this room is known as the ghost bedroom. 
it's not a bedroom anymore, but it's known as the ghost bedroom. And in the room further around, apparently this ghost of a lady threw herself through the window. Look at these guys. What's so exciting about these? They were owned by Mary, Queen of Scots. Look at that. Beautiful. This is called the Queen's Room. The Queen stayed here. Do you know which one? Oh no. Right, think of which king came here. Right. Who were that? Henry the Seventh. His wife came here and slept in this room. Which were called Elizabeth. Elizabeth, yeah. <gasps> Elizabeth of York. <gasps> Everyone were called Elizabeth. I know, that's we why I said lucky. it. <laughs> what is it? I'll tell you what it is, it's the Tabernacle. Tabernacle. Really? Yeah, I don't know what a tabernacle is, I don't know if I've said it right, but I've just seen it there. The Oxborough Tabernacle. You're so clever. I know. What does it say? Um, Medieval... Yeah, too many words, too many words. <laughs> Absolutely no idea, but it's very nice. It's gorgeous. I wonder what it is. It must do something. It's made out of matchsticks, I really? think. Yeah. It says down there, made out of 18,000 matchsticks. Down there. Oh, she's so gullible. <laughs> Just looking at these in this cabinet. Still not sure what they are, but reading that, I think it's like a what we'd nowadays call planning permission. This was grant of rights to fortify this castle. But look at the massive seals, what were on them. They're pretty cool. Can anyone make out the writing? Because I can't. Do you know what was unusual about that staircase we just came up? No. No. It was hard work. It was hard work. <laughs> it was anti-clockwise, and every castle normally goes clockwise because it's easier to defend. But that oh, yeah. was the other way around. Yeah. Don't know why. Yep. Is it really? Well, I'm going to have to bleep that out. Oh, oh, sorry, that. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll see you back at car, yeah? It's tiny in here. Well, at the moment, I'm looking for a big rock. There's a good story behind this rock, but I can't find it. On the way here, I've just come across these. There's only three. Three tiny, tiny graves, and I think they must be animals. Because uh, one's called Bench. Looks like Bench. And one of them is called Chippy, I think. Sippy. From 19... Oh, I can't read it. No, that can't be 1606. 1806, maybe. Not sure. But I think they're animals. I don't know where uh, Mazzy's gone. I've lost Mazzy. She could hardly walk. Her legs were killing her. She's gone. Right, I found my rock. I've been looking for this rock for ages. This is the. It's, lo it's known locally as the Roman oyster stone but it's not Roman. They thought this was Roman, but 50 years ago they did some tests on it. It turns out it's 165 million years old and it was dredged out of a river. And it's also known as a floating stone or something like that, because a roaming stone, because they reckon it was from the ice, you know, it was brought up on icebergs in the ice age and brought up, because all this used to be underwater, did Norfolk? and it was brought up in the ice and dropped in this river basically and they pulled it out of the river I think 50 years ago but it's just like a big mass of oysters all stuck together it's pretty cool, all fossilised time to throw in a joke for the day and I can guarantee Mazzy will not get this joke at all and a lot of you won't until you think about it the teacher says to Simon 
Can you say your name backwards? Simon says, no miss. That's really good, I like that one. Did you really get it? Yeah. <laughs> shot, shot. No miss. If you spell Simon backwards, it's no, it's no miss. He got it right. I thought that was pretty clever. Thank you very much, Danny, for that joke. If anyone's got any good jokes, not just rubbishy jokes, good jokes, send me them. Put them in the com. No, don't put them in the comments. Email them to me, and I can use them in my videos. So that was Oxburg Hall. I quite liked certain parts of it. I didn't like the fact it was covered in scaffolding, and there's a lot of bits of it you can't get into. But well, there were some interesting things, the priest hall, the stone and the tapestry type things made by Queen Mary of Scots. Did you see the scissors of those? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Apart from that, not much really. Henry VII went, went there. We've seen the bed his wife Elizabeth um, slept in. That's pretty cool. I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, it was really good. How many marks out of ten would you give it? Um, seven. A seven, I'd agree yeah. with you. Let's give that yeah. a seven. Seven, we agree on seven. Yeah, we agree on seven. <laughs> um, it's open pretty much all year round, I think. But it's quite expensive. Yeah. I read that it was £5.60 to get in, but the charge does £10 odd. £11.60. Yeah, £11.60, I think. Now, I get in free because I've got a... National Trust card, it's a National Trust property. So if it was £11.60 for one person, that's steep. And I'm gonna check that when I get back because I read £5.60. We might have been ripped off. <laughs> so thanks for joining us here at Oxburg Hall. Uh, see you next time on the Travel Troll. Bye. Many thanks for watching guys. Please don't forget to click like, subscribe, leave a comment and share the video. And be sure to check out my other channel, Deep Digger Dan, and my website, thetraveltroll.uk. You can also follow me on Facebook, on Twitter and on Instagram. But most importantly, please do donate to the charity which we're supporting in this county. All links to everything I've just mentioned are all in the description below. Please come back tomorrow as we continue our adventure to try and make the biggest video library of the sites of the UK. Goodbye!